Since the late 60s, European designers have drawn inspiration from Africa, among them fashion giants including Yves Saint Laurent and John Galliano. Whether their work constitutes an homage or plagiarism is up for debate, but at this 16th edition of Senegal's Dakar Fashion Week, one thing's for sure, African fashion is having a moment. This is working out so well because people are really determined to succeed. It's advancing in a way that's specifically African in nature. This movement needs to be supported as it goes and it needs to be valued, as is the case this evening. This fashion week is the brainchild of Senegalese designer Adama. For her, the event is underpinned by the concept of pan-Africanism. It's here that you can actually see that the African continent isn't really the way Europe describes it. It's an entire continent with hundreds of cultures that are completely different from one another. It's pretty impressive that colonizers and national borders have never succeeded in getting rid of us. For Adama, it's not about returning to a pre-colonial Africa, but about sharing a new vision of what it means to be an African today. Young people here are really rising up. They are desperate to show and share their Africanness. Once upon a time, we weren't so keen on embracing it. We all wanted to look like each other or just follow what we saw in magazines like Vogue. That's what we were looking to for inspiration. Models dress in Vuitton, Dior, Chanel. Yes, from head to toe. Now, if you go into African cities, women are more and more proud to wear African designers. You can see their stuff in the big shops in all the capital cities. They're getting more and more creative. They're not holding back. The West was holding them back a lot. We were too focused on making clothes to sell to the West. We wanted to please the West. So now we're also creating collections that contain a bit more of our true selves. At least that's what I'm doing. This Fashion Week, Adama is revealing her first menswear collection. All clean lines and timeless elegance. As the event's organiser, she's invited stylists from across the continent. Fashion label Biba, based in Guinea-Bissau, is easily identified by its pineapple prints. Born in Brazzaville, Congo, Adriana Talansi launched her label in 2014. Her entire collection is centred around one fabric, raffia. And then there's the Scottish Anne McCreeth. After working as a humanitarian, she studied fashion in Italy before launching her label 20 years ago in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm extremely inspired by traditional African fabrics. Look at this fabric. It's tie-dye and batik. We've done the needlework over it. I love the textures and the different layers. Dakar Fashion Week provides an opportunity to see an impressive array of collections. It also offers a space to explore the nuances of some established fashion lexicon. Being seductive or sexy isn't necessarily about showing your body. It doesn't have to be overly suggestive. It's more in the mind. It's more about fluidity. It's also about attitude. Where you're from, the body is what's important. Here, it's about how you carry yourself. That's the big difference. When I wear my boo-boo, people think I'm seductive and sexy. But for Europeans, I'm engulfed in this huge thing that hides my shape. I've never really liked showing my body in the way the West dictates I should. I find all that quite superficial, even if I do work in fashion. I think clothes should simply enhance your body. It's not about fostering hang-ups. I think that in Europe, bodies easily become a source of hang-ups, and as a result, women are insecure. Not all African designers at this fashion week live in Africa. New York-based Moussa Dia's label is called Versailles, an homage to Marie Antoinette and Louis XIV. And Americans just can't get enough. In New York, we dress a lot of celebrities. We're really well known on the music scene. People like Elle King, Mary J. Blige, Beyonce too. We dress her a lot. What I do is haute couture. Another standout name this year in Dakar, South African streetwear label Majence. The company used to produce its clothes like so many do in Vietnam, but recently brought some of its operations over to Cape Town. The label isn't afraid of speaking its mind with its arresting slogans written directly onto models' bodies. Rape is worse than murder, being one of them. 
in South Africa uh, between, I think it was 16 and 17, it increased by 20% gender violence. So gender violence is from uh, uh, verbal abuse to rape. So everything in between. And it's not only a woman, it's also men. But normally women speak out against it, not men. So tonight all the models are men and we are also men, uh, male designers. And so we're speaking out against that. So we really have to... Uh, stand, up, stand up against it. As men. As yeah, men. As men, yeah. As men, yeah. yeah. The collection earns the designer double act the most rapturous applause of the week. The future is all going to be about people and cultures merging. We're succeeding in applying that to the world of fashion. Dakar Fashion Week, a world where all influencers are welcome, but where African talent takes center stage. You are here. Your program spotlighting French heritage. Versailles, the Louvre, Mont Saint-Michel are well-known stars of French heritage. But French genius and France harbors many other hidden treasures. The arts, gastronomy, architecture, as well as nature's wonders. Come along with France 24. Discover France's living heritage. From young apprentices to accomplished craftsmen and farmers to Michelin star sporting chefs, meet these people whose passion for their professions preserve and drive French heritage. You are here on France 24 and France24.com.